Good morning and welcome to our service of morning prayer for this Tuesday morning from the parish of Luton, St Anne with St Christopher. My name is Diane Scott and I'm the lay reader in the parish. I'm joined this morning by Reverend Anne, our vicar, and I'll be leading the service and Reverend Anne will lead you in the responses. So please do join in with her if you have the words and if you would like to. Um, we are using the Thy Kingdom Come booklet um, because we are, of course, in the season of Thy Kingdom Come. But if you don't have those words, um, you'll find that they are quite similar to the morning prayer words anyway. And I'm sure we'll get along fine. So, so let's take a moment to pause as we start our day with God. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us. And clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God. To you be praise and glory forever. As your Spirit moved across the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation. Pour out your spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And so we come to this morning's psalm which today is Psalm 99. So I will say the odd verses and please join with Reverend Anne on the even verses. If you do have the red book, Psalm 99 may be found on page 795. The Lord is King, let the peoples tremble. He is enthroned above the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion and high above all peoples. Let them praise your name, which is great and awesome. The Lord our God is holy. Mighty King who loves justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud, they kept his testimonies and the law that he gave them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You were a God who forgave them and pardoned them for their offences. Exalt the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill. For the Lord our God is holy. Lord God, mighty King. You love justice and establish equity. May we love justice more than gain and mercy more than power through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading from Holy Scripture this morning 
comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verses 14 to the end. The Lord said to Moses, your time to die is near. Call Joshua and present yourselves in the tent of meeting so that I may commission him. So Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tent of meeting. And the Lord appeared at the tent in a pillar of cloud. The pillar of cloud stood at the, ent at the entrance to the tent. The Lord said to Moses, soon you will lie down with your ancestors. Then this people will begin to prostitute themselves to the foreign gods in their midst the gods of the land into which they are going. They will forsake me, breaking my covenant that I have made with them. My anger will be kindled against them on that day. I will forsake them and hide my face from them. They will become easy prey and many terrible troubles will come upon them. On that day, they will say, have not these troubles come upon us because our God is not in our midst? On that day, I will surely hide my face on account of all the evil they have done by turning to other gods. Now, therefore, write this song and teach it to the Israelites. Put it in their mouths in order that this song may be a witness for me against the Israelites. For when I have brought them into the land flowing with milk and honey, which I promised on oath to their ancestors, and they have eaten their fill and grown fat, they will turn to other gods and serve them, despising me and breaking my covenant. And when many terrible troubles come upon them, this song will confront them as a witness, because it will not be lost from the mouths of their descendants. But I know what they are inclined to do even now, before I have brought them into the land that I promised them on oath. That very day, Moses wrote this song and taught it to the Israelites. Then the Lord commissioned Joshua, son of Nun, and said, Be strong and bold, for you shall bring the Israelites into the land that I promised them. I will be with you. When Moses had finished writing down in a book the words of this law to the very end, Moses commanded the Levites who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, saying, Take this book of the law and put it beside the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God. Let it remain there as a witness against you. For I know well how rebellious and stubborn you are. If you already have been so rebellious towards the Lord while I am still alive among you, how much more after my death? Assemble to me all the elders of your tribes and your officials so that I may recite these words in their hearing and call heaven and earth to witness against them. For I knew that after my death you will surely act corruptly turning aside from the way that I have commanded you. In time to come, trouble will befall you, because you will do what is evil in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger through the works of your hands. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness. A new heart I will give you and put a new spirit within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people, 
and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. Alleluia. Our second reading from Holy Scripture comes this morning from the first letter of John, chapter 3, verses 1 to 10. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him. For we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Everyone who commits sin is a child of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The Son of God was revealed for this purpose to destroy the works of the devil. Those who have been born of God do not sin because God's seed abides in them. They cannot sin because they have been born of God. The children of God and the children of the devil are revealed in this way. All who do not do what is right are not from God, nor are those who do not love their brothers and sisters. Let us take a moment of quiet to think about the words we have heard of Holy Scripture. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord. Pouring on us gifts of your spirit. And kindling us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing. For the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. And kindling us the fire of your love. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour. 
born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, should be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. And to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Christ has gone up on high, and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. And so let us settle into our time of prayer, our time of bringing everything we are before our Heavenly Father at the start of this new day. So Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning with many things ahead of us, all of them known to you, and we pray that you will be with us through them. We offer to you, Heavenly Father, our homes and our families, our work and our leisure today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Father, we thank you that you are with us in both the things we are looking forward to and in the things that are more ordinary and maybe even the things we dread. We pray for the people we will meet and interact with today and for those who we miss. Lord, through all these things, we thank you for the hope that you give us in Jesus. Help us to write your story on our hearts today and not forget your song. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we pray for the local community where we are in the parish of Luton, St. Albert, St. Christopher today. We pray for the residents of Lay Green Close and in this season of thy kingdom come we ask that you pour your Holy Spirit into that place and into the hearts of those people all of whom are known to you Father. We pray for our local shops and businesses at this time We pray for how they will manage <clears throat> the new relaxation rules for COVID-19. We pray for security and safety of both staff and customers and premises. Lord, we pray for the management of the new, new variant of COVID-19, B1617.2.
Lord, you know how our hopes are raised and dashed through the peaks and troughs of this pandemic. You know how as one place suffers, another is healed, and then the circle sometimes turns again. So Lord, we do pray for safety and resilience. We pray for all those who feel that they have had enough, that they will find the strength and courage to enjoy the new freedoms while being cautious and caring about the well-being of themselves and others as we watch the movement of the virus. Thank you for your protection, Father, and that you are always with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. The church is together in Luton. We also pray for Luton Airport today. So, Heavenly Father, we pray for all the people who work at the airport and those who are not back working yet. We pray for those who do pass few through on the flights that take place. And for those whose livelihoods really depend upon the flourishing and the busyness of the airport and who are suffering now so very much. Lord, teach us the lessons that may be learned from what we have been through. We may value what is good and change what is not so good. The world today we pray for peace and as we remember the situation in Gaza and Israel we'll pray some words of a prayer newly released by Christian Aid. We pray for all who suffer in the midst of renewed conflict and attack we pray for Israelis living with the threat of rocket fire, for Palestinians subjected to airstrikes, attempted shootings, living under military occupation and facing eviction from their homes. In particular, we pray for children and young people caught up in terror beyond their understanding or control. We pray for those who have been killed, maimed, bereaved, those who have had their future torn away from them, those whose lives are bleak, lacking opportunity and hope. We pray for the people of Gaza living under blockade, repeated military bombardment and now the threat of ground invasion that will cause an escalation of deaths and a descent into the depths of hell. We repent of our complicity in silence our closing our eyes to the needs and well-being of the children and our failure to reject the ways of violence, threat and injustice. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our peace and our hope. Amen. Amen. It is the season of thy kingdom come. And Heavenly Father, as we pray for all your church, we pray today for, for those people who will come to know your son today. We pray for all new Christians, but especially for those who will know the joy 
of your presence in their lives this very day. At the same time, Heavenly Father, we pray for your church where she suffers today. We pray for individuals facing persecution for the sake of your son's name. And also for the body of the church where she is abused and discriminated against. For your Holy Spirit upon all your church, Lord. Inspiring the strength and resilience and hope that comes from you alone. And so with the worldwide Anglican Communion, we raise our prayers today for the Diocese of Butair in the Anglican Church of Kenya. We thank you, Lord, that they know we are praying for them today as they pray for us. And we trust that you know the needs of what is happening in that place and will minister to them today. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are training for ministry and join with our friends at USPG to pray for the work of theological colleges across the world church. The Heavenly Father, we do pray that the work of these institutions help us and all Christians to better understand you and the path where you are leading us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. In our own Diocese of St Albans this week, we are praying for the making of new disciples. Help us, Lord, to be your witnesses wherever we live. Help us to notice those who seek you. We thank you that you draw people close to you in the most amazing ways. Today we pray for the Deanery of Buntingford and the Parish of Clothall. For Fiona Wheatley who ministers there giving thanksgiving with that church for the technology that has enabled them to come together in worship during the COVID restrictions. We pray with them for those elected at their annual meeting, for wisdom and insight in serving their community and moving forward in mission. In our own deanery of Luton today, we remember in prayer St Paul's Church in South Luton. We pray for Kate Lomax, the vicar there, and all those who support her in ministry. We also pray in our deanery for all work amongst the elderly in homes and sheltered accommodation knowing that that has been so difficult over this past year and looking for your guidance for the way forward in this ministry. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear okay. our prayer. In our own parish of Luton St. Anne St. Christopher, we pray on this 18th day of the month for Ryan Otte, Rosemary Palmer, Angie Palombo, Jane Parkins. Bless and guide each of these individuals today, Lord, that they may know your closeness and presence, whatever they are doing.
We pray with our friends at Yescape about young people struggling with anxiety. We do pray, Heavenly Father, that young people in this position, and there are so many at the moment, would find the supports and outlets they need to be able to talk about the things that are concerning them. We help to deal with the problems they are facing. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for <clears throat> your blessing to fall upon the work of Azalea and Church Urban Fund today. Also, both charities we support as a parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we bring before you now the needs of all those who suffer or struggle. We pray for those who are lonely and depressed. We pray for those who mourn. For those who are just so tired. Hear our prayers for all suffering in mind, body or spirit. We pray now for those for whom we've been asked to pray individually as a parish. For Maureen, Susan, Lily, Iris, Grace, Jeff, Diana, Diane, Jackie, Jenny, Margaret, Josh, Doug. And in a moment of silence for any others known to us in need of prayer today. Lord, grant your comfort and healing, your loving touch for all those who suffer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our prayer. And so we pray for those who have recently died. John Newbury, Anna Dobie, Audrey Attard, Amanda Lewis. For any others known to us personally, and also for any whose anniversary is full at this time. In your abundant love and mercy, O oh Lord, may they rest in peace and rise, rise in, in glory. glory. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love, that all who hear your word may be drawn to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into evil. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Amen.
Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you, everybody, for joining us to pray this morning. There's another chance to meet and pray together at half past 11 this morning online um, when we pray day five of our Thy Kingdom Come Novena. So you're very welcome to come along to that as we pray for our five people. And there's also a chance this afternoon to visit St. Christopher's Church between two and three in person for private prayer. Um, you can also visit St. Christopher's Church tomorrow morning at half past 10 for a service of Holy Eucharist, which will also be streamed online. And St. Anne's Church will be open on Thursday morning for private prayer between 9 and 10. So lots of opportunities to pray. So do keep looking out for um, times to pray together. And thank you once again for joining us. See you again soon. God bless.